let's try this video one more fucking time god damn i was recording my goddamn self this video is called modern women are freaking out as 63 percent of men have willingly left the dating scene this video is from man's guide i watched a little bit of his stuff not a lot just um I'm interested in y'all, you know, I'm interested in like, you know, with the red pill, blue pill, man, no spirit on it. I'm interested in what these folks be saying, you know, how the world is operating. But, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really, I'm not having no dating crisis and stuff like that. And like, not saying I'm out here like, you know, doing wild, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a girlfriend, like, you know what I'm saying? Like. If I want to get a girlfriend, go out there and, and talk to women. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a girlfriend. I don't talk to women. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I just want to see what this video is saying because I want to know. Uh, I I know men are fed up with women's uh just how they think you know what i'm saying i interact i see it a lot i dj too so like i definitely like hear what a lot of women say and think and it's just like women have lost their rabbit ass minds lately a lot of them and then social media makes uh women think that their life got to be what social media is and social media is not real it's not real i have been so hesitant to post about this uh, for two reasons Number one, I don't like negativity and I don't want to be like the bearer of bad news. Uh, number two, I didn't want to believe it. But after doing so much research and uh, getting a lot of messages, uh, I'm going to just deliver the unvarnished truth to you guys. We're just going to lay it out straight. We're in a dating crisis. Not basically, we are. That's what's happening. Bro, the fact that they call it a dating crisis, bro. <laughs> Do y'all know what crisis means? Like, bro, like, crisis is insane. That is a dating crisis, bro. These niggas don't care no more. <laughs> so, let me look at my research here. Because I don't want to mess it up. So, men looking for casual dates and our relationships is down 50%. Five zero since 2019. Not since 1970 since 2019 right before the pandemic down 50 percent they're not fucking looking which means if you're a woman looking they don't fucking give a shit so as this trend <laughs> continues by 2040 45 percent of women 45 percent of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single and childless based on this trend let that sink in for a moment I'm going to talk a lot more about this, so if you're interested in this topic, hit the follow button because I've got a lot more of information, a lot more to share with you guys. It's happening, gentlemen. MGTOW is taking over. It's not being seen as some cult movement anymore. Men are wait. What is MGTOW? Uh, I've seen that hashtag. I don't know what it is. Like, Can y'all let me know what MGTOW is in the comments, please? Speaking up to the insanity that is modern dating and relationships. The amount of men choosing to find peace and happiness alone is on the rise. For years, the media has loved to paint MGTOW as nothing but these mom's basement dwelling weirdos covered in Cheetos dust. Even though MGTOW is about becoming the strongest, fittest, most competent, and wealthy version of yourself you can be, they kept peddling that same message because they didn't want the matriarchal status quo challenged. But it was only a matter of time before more men noticed what a circus this woke society had become and how little their options were. It was inevitable that MGTOW would grow in popularity and rise from the shadows. That's exactly what we're seeing. More and more men have begun to adopt the philosophy, the way of life of the superior man who doesn't allow women to dictate his life anymore. A man who has mastered the art of sexual discipline who has prioritized his own happiness, success, and well-being instead of the approval of women. I feel like that sh that shouldn't be like a movement though. Like all men should like focus on their happiness. Like you can't expect a, a female to make you happy. Like you have to make yourself happy. 
if you're not happy, you're not going to make nobody else happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be in a relationship and your partner just it put all that stuff on, on your partner. And that's what a lot of, especially modern relationships, like, people don't handle their trauma and their their, their problems and, and, and their, um, they don't, you know, they don't handle their demons, basically. And they uh, get in relationships and going from relationship to relationship, all that trauma, not dealing with it, bringing all that baggage and dumping it on the next person. And then all these relationships are just cycles and like just not getting nowhere. It's like once you get peace with yourself and once you become the man that you're supposed to be, not what society tells you to be, but what you're supposed to be, and you get true to yourself, can't nobody bring you down. Can't nobody knock you, bro. Like, take me, for instance, bro. I cosplay in Power Ranger spandex. Like, bro, like, all I care about is making seven-year-old me happy as can be, bro. And I get to make music. I get to DJ and I get to travel. Everything else is a plus. A girl is a plus. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, I still get to do what I want to do, what makes me happy. And what makes me happy, I'm doing it. I get the game and stream for y'all, make content, do my thug thizzle. And, bro, when I say when you focus on yourself and get on your grind, bro you you, you 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 get purpose in life even if and that's another thing too men need to learn how to find a purpose in their life without a female like i know like a lot of men you know some men need that push need that jump they need to have that purpose to to provide and care for a family and stuff but a lot of the times like especially in today's time the family dynamic is getting lost in the shuffle. Like, women don't want that. A lot of women don't want kids and stuff. So it's just like, you need to also, you need to find that, that, that drive and that passion and, and that purpose within yourself. You know what I'm saying? And make yourself happy and do it. But I'm happy that a lot of men are finding peace with themselves and, and, and not stressing over relationships. It's one thing to, like, uh, you know, want a relationship and the women you run into just ain't shit versus, like, stressing a relationship and you can't get one to shit and you miserable and you unhappy. Like, you being happy and it's like, if I get a relationship, I get a relationship. If not, you know what I'm saying? That's peace. That's, pr like, you're at peace. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, that's good. Like, a lot of dudes should want that from themselves regardless of a woman or not that's i'm happy for them. and the statistics don't lie it was predicted that a massive change in the dating world would occur by 2040 and this is proving to be true but with the difference it's happening much faster than anyone could have predicted if the current trend of men walking away from dating continues 45% of women aged 20 to 45 will be single and childless not by 2040, but by 2030. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Peter Brenner for saying, sometimes the best revenge is simply to sit back and watch the feminists cry over their cats and whine, 20 years after they rejected your offer for a traditional marriage and laugh. Now, my biggest problem with them is running out of popcorn. What can I say guys? This is the best kind of problem to have. And that reminds me, I'm gonna go grab some more popcorn. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or the one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. Now back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love. The fitness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, although it's your world. Did it say Chad makes seven figures? Boy, they be wild. <laughs>
And here's what single, childless women, usually in their 20s, have got to say about it. These are genuine comments from women talking about this topic. Almost every single woman I know wants to be single and childless. Single and childless sounds amazing to me. We're happy to be single and child-free. Happiest women have ever been. You say it like it's a bad thing, or like we'll be missing out on something great. Love this for women, considering how many women before us didn't have a choice but to get married to survive. Can you see how misguided and not I mean, a lot of people still need two, um, need two income households to survive the economy not getting no cheaper so like hell it's a lot of it's a lot of people got roommates and stuff living together so it's just like i don't know why uh they celebrating him a lot of them live in urban areas too the rent two thousand a month starting off for a, a closet naive these comments are the women who leave these comments fall into two basic categories young instant gratification addicted women who are too naive to think long term these are tiktok brain i call them the tiktok brains women who can't connect the dots and see how a life of loneliness is undesirable humans are social creatures that's something you learn in preschool and these women forgot that completely the second type of women who comments things like this are women who are still single and childless after they hit the wall at some point, they realize that they made a terrible mistake in their dating lives, but instead of choosing to reflect on why, they chose to double down. And now, every comment they leave is pure, insecure cope. Eventually, that cope is going to run out, and we're going to see the wave of female regret get worse over the next 10 years. We warned them, and we were labeled misogynist for it. And even today, we don't have to look very far to find women who regret believing the bullshit lies of feminism. You see it all over TikTok, and it's not very pretty, gentlemen. I'll just say it's impossible for women after 40 to find a boyfriend. I have no children, I cook delicious food, and I have a big house. Am I really that bad? Bro, she's 40, though. Like, dudes don't want nothing old. They want a young, hot thing. Granted, a lot of dudes be in their 40s dating 20-year-olds and 18-year-olds is sick in the head, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to find somebody in your age bracket, you know what I'm saying? Like, 10 years should be, like, the max, the age gap should be. Like, you're still in, like, a generational span to where, like, you, the, the female can learn from you, you know what I'm saying? You can, like, put her on the new things but like it's not as big as a gap to where it's just like creepy and fucking like you're just a pedophile at that point and, t and 10 is still pushing it. i just say 10 because there's a lot of dudes out here that just want something young like that's what they go without for. kids a husband or a loving family you've got nothing to fall back on when things get difficult and yet Women are still doubling down. It's gotten so bad that the whole single, childless girl boss thing is becoming a joke of itself. I'm C. Handler, and I chose not to have kids because they're gross. Ugh. And instead focus on my career. This is a day in the life of a childless woman. <laughs> I get up at 6 a.m., remember that I have no kids, and go back to sleep because I was out clubbing until 4 a.m. trying to fill the void in my soul with alcohol and meaningless sex. Then I get up at 10. First thing I do is take my anti Wow. <laughs> anxiety medication, then my antidepressants, then my other prescription meds, and then a shot of Jack to take the edge I off. I stop by the pharmacy to refill my anti-anxiety meds and pick up a morning after pill. And now I'm at my job. Hashtag girl boss. Having a career is so liberating and like way better than having some overbearing husband. <laughs> Handler, I need those reports on my desk in five minutes. And next time, remember the cover sheet! Cover sheet! Yes, sir! Now I'm home, and I can say hi to the most important people in my life! Hi, Mimi! <laughs> this would be even funnier if it wasn't so true. <laughs> I got a cat, but she's a little demon. <laughs> Ladies, 
This is what you've got to look forward to. A cold, lonely apartment, cats, nobody to take care of you when you can no longer take care of yourself. The most you can hope for is to stay in a retirement home. If you're trying to convince yourself that your future will be happy after 40 when you're completely alone, you're blind and ignorant. Either that, or you've become so invested in proving all the men wrong that you're making dozens of terrible life choices just to prove a point. We're trying to warn you because we're thinking about this rationally. Men understand the order of life and the way things work. You can't beat nature by being a girl boss, but women won't listen. And men have started walking away. For years, MGTOW has been mocked in the media for being this creepy cult of guys online who hate women. They even said that these men are only choosing to go their own way because they're so undesirable to women and this was their only option. Not only did this show that they have no idea what they're talking about, but it also shows that MGTOW is threatening the woke matriarchy. It shows... Uh, the go back to what he said, like, um, the dudes being undesirable. A lot of women only go for the top 2% of men. Like, you got the top 2% of men, and then you got 99% of women going after 2% of men. 2% of men. Like, the dudes that make six figures you know established plenty of money can fly you out x y z you know what i'm saying the whole nine the whole package deal that's two percent of men six foot over six foot um you know just a typical typical jock type of person that's two percent of men. Then you got all these normal dudes out here who just be chilling, and women don't even know they exist. Like women be in Walmart and stuff, and they don't even acknowledge all the dudes that be walking past them and stuff. Or like the the cashier that hands them their money at Walmart and stuff because he makes. He's working there, like he don't acknowledge. They don't acknowledge them. It's sad. It's sad when you think about it. Like those dudes. Like for women to think that those dudes are un undesirable, they just don't know them, and it's just like their job is like holding them back. And it's just like that's just weird. It's just weird. And then like they'll work with a dude. Like those women will work work at those same jobs and see those dudes, but then want like the manager. You know what I'm saying? Or, or like somebody that's working like an office job or something. It's just, it's just, it's just, it is weird. It is weird. It's really weird. It was that we're making a difference. If MGTOW wasn't relevant, they wouldn't even be talking about it, let alone trying to mock it. But portraying it like this in the media hasn't worked. And now, men are walking away to focus on themselves. Let me be clear. It's not as if men are walking away because everything was good and we just wanted to do something else for fun. We didn't just one day decide, hey, let's just let go of women and see what happens. <laughs> no, we woke up. We listened and watched the way we were being treated. We heard too many women say that men aren't needed and masculinity is toxic. We and that's another thing that uh, when you see online that, that women say men are needed like the infrastructure and these blue collar jobs like women don't understand like all these men that work the world who make these cities run that deliver packages and stuff day to day like they they see these dude like they see a dude work construction and not even acknowledge them like they like i, I got into it with a, 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 a female a couple months back and she was like, all men just need to disappear. And it's just like, bro, like, you saying that because you have the luxury of not even, like, understanding, uh, like, what so many men do. Like, my brothers, like, everybody in my family wails. The only person that don't wail because I have sick, like, I have sickle cells. My dad has sickle cells, too. But mine's is worse than his. And it's like, all of my brothers wailed. You know what I'm saying? I got one brother in the military. And it's like, for every, like, 30, for every 30 dude that wails, you get one female that wails. If all of us disappear, 
like those females that do well could not keep up with what all those other men do and that's not that's just welding we ain't even got to like the the men that work on the pipes and um plumbing and not like the whole like sewage system you're not even thinking about the men who like fix the roads and lay down all the concrete and fix all the cracks and stuff around like the the uh the nation you're not thinking about all the men who fix the highway system you're not thinking about all the men who work on the power plants who work on the grid who like literally like keep the power flowing you're not even thinking about the men who lay down the internet wires in the sea not the satellites and stuff that we get our internet from the main thing that connects all the internet lines together that's in the ocean like women don't think about none of that stuff that's just like but yet you want all men to disappear that shit is crazy like the world would fit like the the world would like crumble in under two like in under a year because like once the power run out and then the backup generators that we have set for like a world disaster like real like they don't think about how much shit like the hard working blue collar men actually do they just think about all the rich athletes and stuff like that that's just doing shit because they have talent and granted it takes a lot to even get in the nba and stuff but it's just like they only see those dudes they don't even think about all the dudes like all the dudes that fly planes that you want to take all these trips like it's so many things that men do around the world that women like don't even acknowledge is insane and you want them to disappear that just baffles me bro that baffles me listen to the countless stories of other men who've been decimated in the divorce courts men punished by laws using the same discriminatory tactics feminists say they hate the woke courts say that because you're a man you're automatically under suspicion we're going to take your kids and your money away because you're already too privileged in society and women are victims who deserve all the handouts and that's another thing that's sad too it's a lot of women who force marriage like they want to get married to like these rich dudes and a lot of those women are divorcing those men and taking all of their like half their money and stuff and it's just like all these women who focus on like the two percent of men with all the money and stuff and like who's doing their thug thizzle who done grind it like these corporate jobs or like rappers or or uh major league uh players and stuff like that they want dudes with all that and they want them to settle down with them and then how long is it uh i know after six months you can't get a uh annulment and then like what well, after three years or so you get a divorce and then you take half their money and then now they're paying you alimony that shit is crazy to me and it's just like social media has made all these women think that like they deserve that life and then they w <sighs> it's crazy it's crazy but yet you got these blue collar dudes that will give them everything they want and treat them right but they don't even know they exist because they don't pay no attention to them this is how we know that feminism stopping and then the courts will see a woman that will see women doing that and said looking like oh they was only married for two years and let that bullshit happen like all the rights for men in the court system is like nothing even it don't even cater to them it's, it's all made against men like everything is like against it's sad like it's sad that a lot of men are starting to go through that about equality decades ago now it's about power and control and men are waking up to the dynamics in dating that favor women for a very long time women have enjoyed privileges in dating that men are now becoming aware of if you want to approach a woman you will be rejected 99 percent of the time and it won't be kind if you're in a relationship that is true so many dudes like and, and this is out in public like you are a dude approach and i've seen like i've seen women do be ruthless to dudes like like to, so like i dj so like just being in like 
just those environments and seeing dudes like go like go after a woman they've been looking at like going after the female they've been at looking at all night or something and then they just give them like the utmost disgust look or you just see them waving their hands and the dude walk away uh with his head down and stuff like women are, like they are ruthless bro like they the rejection is bad now like it's like no like nobody is females like their standard is so high because of social media like nobody can make the cut anymore and then they get like a dude that look like he got money and he and he wearing his homie clothes and stuff the time of day and he be a bum and it's just like he looked the part though so it's okay he passed that test but it'd be like a genuine dude who work hard for his clothes and and, and, and don't wear his, his homie's shoes and shit and genuinely just a good dude he just probably ain't got no game because he like you know ain't used to talking to women because social media has ruined shit and like you you don't talk to people in person no more you gotta talk to them online so like him starting stuttering over his words and stuff in, in in front of her like he just like just get the shitty end of the stick but he could be a genuinely good dude it's just bros it's mm. yep. and it goes through a hard time as a man you're expected to be there as the protector and provider you're expected to stay suck it up and endure for the good of the relationship but when your relationship is going through hard times the sisterhood will tell your girl to leave to prioritize her own well-being they'll say you deserve better girl and when she leaves society will say it's the man's fault it will say she left yep. a toxic abusive dynamic and she's a courageous survivor but if a man leaves immediately he's branded a coward a man child immature and every other hurtful name you can think of yep. another reality men are becoming aware of are the downsides of committing men have shared countless times through the comments and elsewhere online what happens when you give a woman what she says she wants and commit to her it's almost as if when you start letting your guard down relaxing and investing in her she immediately sees you as less desirable and starts showing disrespect do we need men in your opinion no because they do nothing all day do we and you see that they saying no but yet if we all disappear who gonna who gonna generate power in the united states she don't know who gonna fix the roads she don't know who gonna who gonna keep the sewage lines running and keep everything from getting stopped up and the whole city smelling like fucking d disgusting manure she don't know like they just they just been brainwashed to think men just awful because they probably go to school and they all want like some football player that's like the superstar and they all like super nerds are like and this is even worse than the anime community they 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 get these visions of these white hair like anime dudes and that's what they want dudes to look like in real life and they want that they have fetishized over a cartoon character and want somebody that cosplays and look like them they get him the time of day but then the rest of the rest of dudes no just let them disappear but yet they don't know how the internet gonna work the the phone that they be on taking all their selfies like the dudes is laying all that the 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 internet lines in the ocean not the satellite shit the 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 one that started in the ocean those dudes is out there fixing that stuff man they man the whole bro uh, they just talking out their ass and that's what's sad like the like people need to get educated on the blue collar jobs and what men really be doing all day but she thinks they don't do all do nothing all day because the dude she wants don't do nothing all day because she giving him the time of day you need men no like we just sit there do we need men in your opinion uh no because they're icky if this video didn't already communicate <laughs> Bro, the point, what? being with a modern, non-traditional woman these days is like managing the emotions of a child. And because you're a man, that's entirely your responsibility. Women want you to know they're strong and independent, but they apparently can't accept responsibility for their own emotions. That's far too much to ask. That's a man's job. It's strange that women are allowed to pick and choose what their role is in society and nobody holds them accountable to it. 
Being a and that girl, she got her ass out, but I bet you if a dude smacked her ass, she could be like, "You gotta treat me like a lady." Crazy man and dating, and I, and it, it, like even if they're in a beach setting, like I understand they're in a beach setting, she get a pass. But like that was a concert, it, that was like it was not no beach either. Those is get you labeled toxic and controlling. This society has become a feminist, misandrist woke fest that deep down hates men. When a man stops putting up with BS, your average modern women in the West will fight you so hard that you'll want to leave. Traditional women in other countries respect men and value what he brings to the table. They don't see masculinity as toxic. They know what a man and a woman is. They love pleasing a man because they know that a family is its strongest when women and men play their roles well. But nowadays, if you say you want a more soft and traditional woman, you'll be labeled a toxic misogynist. The dating. That's another thing I find weird, like, uh, like dudes who say like they want a family and stuff. Like, a lot of women that like label themselves as feminist, feminist or liberal, like they say that dude wants a slave, and it's just like, or they want somebody to mommy them, and it's just like. A dude can't have no preference without uh, them getting labeled, and I think that's so that's so weird. Like that's so strange that like they can't, like a dude can't voice what he want. And I'm just like outside looking in, like you know what I'm saying, like because I see a lot of stuff on like Reddit or Facebook or Twitter, and um, like a dude to say like I I wish my I I can't wait to be married. I want my wife to cook dinners every night, like home cooked meals and stuff. I miss that. Da, da, da. Oh, you and then like you will see in the comments like a woman just going off on him, like, oh, you want uh, you want somebody to, if you want a, your, your mama just say to just live with your mama and dude was just just making a status, bro. But like the women that he follows or the women that he's friends with just getting their feelings off top and just attack him. It's crazy how like. They're so enraged by anything a man says, and it's like it's super sad. So, like, a lot of these dudes that are like focusing on themselves, granted, dudes should have been focused on themselves, but like, if they're like choosing not to date and not to deal with it, I understand it because that's like that could get tiring. And then I can only imagine like dudes that like date women in today's time and like say you out on a date. And she'd be like, what do you want in a woman? And he says, like, you know, stuff that's, like, just a normal housewife. Because women think dudes want, like, somebody with a career and all this. No, they just want a simple chick that can. She ain't got to know how to cook. She just got to know how to read fucking instructions from a cookbook and, and, and get it somewhere close to what it look like on a picture. And he'll be happy. Like, dudes are so simple. It's it's so crazy how simple minded dudes are. And a dude would explain that to a female and she would go ballistic, you know what I'm saying? Or she'd just go off on them. And it's just like I don't blame them. I do not blame a lot of these men. If this was if this is the reality that they're dealing with, I don't blame them. The market is just such a minefield for men these days. It's a soul sucking cycle of rejection that's not worth it anymore. And to anyone who likes to say that women have it bad too. I've got this to say, having to sift through a bunch of options and dudes in your DMs will never be as difficult as having to jump through a million hoops just to get someone's attention. That's true. Women don't have a bad, like, they just all want the same dudes. And those dudes that they're all going after can pick and choose from, like, a plethora of them. And they want that one dude to settle down with them thing and that dude to change for them when he never gonna do that. And so it's just like, because that one, because 2% of dudes is getting all the action, they're saying all dudes because they don't acknowledge the 90% of, the 98% of dudes who got normal jobs who live life normal. And yes, I know that there's like a bottom percent of dudes who just are unattractive and like, you know, ain't got no game and just like a fucking dweeb. And I say dweeb because I'm a dweeb. You know what I'm saying? They live in their mom's basement and stuff, overweight or something, you know, smell, don't take care of their stuff, ain't got no good hygiene, bad bro. You know what I'm saying? All this shit. I understand it's those dudes, but a lot of dudes out here, they uh, like, majority of dudes ain't like that. 
but they don't acknowledge them because they they five eleven instead of six foot. Or <laughs> it was crazy. A lot of these dudes be taller than girls, but as soon as they say anything under six foot, they were like disgusted. The difference today is that dating for men is like starving in the desert, begging for a slice of bread. Whereas women have a truckload of bread, but they're sitting there complaining about not having that eight ounce prime filet steak covered in gold flakes. And by the way, I'm not calling you a piece of bread, King. I'm just making a point. <laughs> These situations are not the same. Women have a problem of abundance, whereas men have a problem of scarcity. And it's not because men are low value. The amount of men who earn great money and are fit and confident but still struggle to get a date has risen so fast over the past few years. You've got impossible dating standards to thank for that. Girlfriends and wives are expensive. Men are starting to realize that the more invested in the relationship he is, the drier his bank account will be. When you get uh, a shared man. bank account, you lose control of one of the most powerful aspects of life as a man, your finances. Without money, you don't have power. It's just how it is. And a modern relationship, you know, the kind where you expect it to act like a woman but still pay for everything, is too expensive. And this is- Wait, they expect men to act like women? That's probably why all these thugs and niggas who grew up in single mom, single mom households who had no male figure in their life get out like they're emotional and they just keep women on roller coasters. I know that in my community, that's why they go after them and stuff. Like they, they say they want to thug this that and third, but no, that dude's just emotional and don't know how to handle his emotions. That's why when he get mad, he go off of, on a fucking, he go ballistic and want to up his pole and shit and, and go dumb and they be it's the thrill so they want they love that shit this is even before she's decided to leave you for some guy she met at work and take half your stuff a man without a woman has more money and because he has more money he has more options this kind of freedom is like gold to a man in the west finding a loyal woman who understands things like commitment loyalty and partnership is almost impossible. The values that once made the society great have died, and now it's been replaced by pleasure seeking and instant gratification. It's been replaced by female influencers harassing men in gyms for TikTok clout. Women are constantly trying to find their next upgrade. And that's a video uh, I just found too, like gyms are going bankrupt. I may uh, react to that next, but uh, that's another thing I found that like, men have stopped going to gyms because of women and that's sad too like that used to be like bro haven and now like because women want to look the part on social media and stuff instead they just got lipo and shit it's a lot of it's a little women that do go to gyms and get fit and stuff but, but men are so scared to be in the gym and shit and and they think that they staring at them whole time they waiting on you to get done with the elliptical or whatever the fuck you're on so he can get next but yeah you make it a big deal and so like it's bro they got it hard out here bro so she can abandon her man like a used car in a society that tells women they should prioritize fun and pleasure how can any of us trust the woman we're with when she gets bored society doesn't encourage her to stay and work with her man to figure it out society encourages her to follow her heart which is code for go get dick down by that NBA player. Just make sure he doesn't find out. <laughs> Life is hard. And Damn. men face the challenge of being born without value in the eyes of society. They need to work relentlessly to even have a seat at the table. This is the way it's always been. And it's the way it will always be. For men, it's a big shit sandwich and each of us has our share of it. We understand this. We have to go out and fight the world to survive. So why would we want to do that just to- Bro, how was Buddy back there sitting on that table? Bro, he was sitting straight up with his legs. Shit to the sandwich, side. and each of us has our share of it. We understand this. He got both his feet up, but he's eating like his feet supposed to be down. Unless somebody's laying on him. Uh, am I tweaking? I think I'm we have to go out and fight the world to survive. So why would we want to do that just to come back home and have a fight with our girlfriend? But all too often, 
This is exactly the kind of thing that men have to face. A relationship is rarely a partnership where it's both of you versus the world. Too often, a woman makes it you versus her. And men, this is just too exhausting to put up with. Ultimately, it's about peace. As men, we just want the freedom to do the things we want to do without being attacked for it. We want to be able to work on ourselves and pursue the things that make life meaningful for us. And now, we're discovering something with modern women. Not only do they provide nothing for us, they actually cost us our peace, happiness, <laughs> These and freedom. So fake. And that's why men are walking away. Watch this space, because in the coming years, it will be women who suffer the most for it. But you asked for it, ladies. You reap what you sow. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Um, it was an interesting video. If y'all want to follow, cause the he has a, a relaxing voice. I fell. I I usually fall asleep to some of his videos. But uh, y'all can go follow him. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But uh, if people are choosing. If they focus on themselves, that's good though. But choosing to uh not date and stuff because of uh society and stuff, which I get it because social media has ruined the world. Anyway, I uh, see y'all in the next video.